Hi guys, it's Ashley from Sweet Dreams Bake Shop. Today I'm going to be showing you a bunch of different cookies that I actually made all on the same day, but I'm going to break them up into a few different videos because I know for myself, I don't want to go searching through the video to find the cookie that I would like to make. So I hope you enjoy this series. Today we're going to be piping our classic Easter cookie. So let's get piping. This design is going to begin with us piping a blue border, and I am leaving a little tiny bit more of an edge than I normally do. This is going to serve as the gap for our dot border later on. As per usual, we're filling in our bunny with a little bit of a looser icing and moving it around with my beautiful cookie scribe. This cookie design is really reminiscent of when I first started to learn how to decorate cookies and cakes. It is just so classic and it's really, really cutesy and I just thought I would do something that would be very important to have in anybody's arsenal. I am starting the bunny's bow here and this is such a teachable moment because the bow that I created that just all of a sudden appeared, I actually get rid of later in the video and I show you how I would rather have done my bow in the first place. I know it is easier said than done, but try not to be intimidated by piping writing onto your cookie. Here are a few helpful hints to help you get over the fear of writing on your cookie. So firstly, you want to make sure that the icing underneath is completely, completely dry. So if you do make a mistake, you can scrape it off with little to no consequence. The other thing that you should do is you should practice writing on a piece of parchment paper before you actually start doing it on your cookie. And my final tip to you is try not to be overzealous and do a bunch of different script writing. Do your own writing first, whatever comes most naturally to you, and then you can start doing different fonts. To be completely honest, I wasn't super happy with my writing in this video, but it is what it is. And what I'm doing now is I'm going back over and trying to emphasize the parts that I want emphasized and moving things around a bit with my cookie scribe. Once I was finished with this, I was pretty happy with the end product. And I'm obviously adding my little Ashley touch to this by dotting my rabbit and giving her a little bit of a pattern, but you could definitely leave it blank. I've really been striving to do different things with my cookies than what I've seen before. And when you're on things like Instagram, you just see so many amazing artists doing so many amazing things. So I wanted to add my little something special and put a dot border on this. When creating these cottontail swirls, make sure that you're holding your piping bag fairly high away from your cookie and letting those lines just drop down and guiding your hand as you squeeze that piping bag with even pressure. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to these things, so I apologize for me going back to the writing so many times. Here I am scraping off the bow that I did not like, and I was afforded that luxury because I really made sure that my icing underneath was fully, fully dry. Instead of creating the bow that was more traditional when I first started, I decided to go with something a little bit loopier looking. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really disappointed that I won't be able to spend Easter with my extended family this year due to social distancing. So instead, I think I will just create a really nice platter of desserts for my own family, and I hope that something like this design makes it onto your dessert platter as well. Have a happy Easter!